just passing through um, Davenport, Florida on the way home from uh, filming someplace, and I'm hungry, and I haven't had Chinese food in a while, so let's head on in there and try this place out. Looks really yummy. This is the honey chicken. And then I don't know how well you're gonna see it, but this is the sesame. I'll take a picture. Sesame chicken, which is always my favorite. I always get sesame chicken. Got two soups. And the bag is the egg rolls, and they give you um, sauces and stuff, and um, those chip things that you put in the soup. Okay, I'll take some pictures and tell you how it is. All right, I know it's gonna be good. All right, I will show you the menu and everything when we get home, so you can see it better in the light. I'll let you know the food. The sesame chicken and the, the honey chicken, we both enjoyed it immensely. It was well-cooked, well-flavored, and you get a lot. There, The meals were like nine ninety-five. You have chicken, the rice, and then you get an egg roll. And I took a picture of the egg roll, which you see at the end. We both enjoyed it a lot, I have to say. You got a good amount of food, and I actually got full without being able to finish all that. And since you know I'm a big boy, I could definitely, when I want to, definitely eat a lot. So you know there's a good amount of food. Um, the egg roll was very nice. I love the soup. Hot and sour soup is always delicious. So yeah, we enjoy the food all around. I'm glad I stopped there. Uh, it was kind of an unplanned thing. I had no idea about this place. Chinese restaurants are all over the place. So you see them every place you go. And it was kind of like an unexpected stop to stop there. I just need some meat because I haven't ate all day. And I'm glad I stopped. I don't know if I'll ever be coming here again, though, because I'm not usually in this part of town or here in Davenport very often. But we'll see. But, you know, look, if you're going through um, Davenport and you come by here and you want to stop at China Tastes, uh, you're looking for some good Chinese food, stop and give them a try. You know, small businesses can always use your business. And if you see this video and decide to stop in, make sure you let them know that the presidential tourist sent you. All right, I'm going to go. When I get home, I'll show you the... Um, the menu more and I will show you the address and all that good stuff. Alright, let's get to it. Okay, here is the menu. That's their phone number. Their hours. Address. I don't know if anyone's interested in these type of videos. I mean, I've done restaurant review videos before at different kinds, but I've never done one um, on um, this type of restaurant. A lot of people love Chinese food, though, so they might be interested in this, too. Of course, I always have to get the soup. Which is the quartz five ninety five, and that, like I said earlier, that was really good. I've gotten a lot of these other soups before in the past, but not very, very long time. I can't tell you when I had these other kinds last year, many years. It's almost always the hot and sour. It's just my favorite. A lot of this, you know, it's interesting. These Chinese places, these Chinese restaurants, they must get their menus printed the same place because they almost always have the same look, type, layout, and everything. This is just a brief little look. Give you an idea on some of the prices and stuff. I never get there when they have lunch. It's always definitely cheaper. But usually whatever's on the lunch menu is usually for the dinner, which is almost always they almost always call it combinations. Which is nine ninety five. And yeah, always combination combination platters. And a lot of them Chinese restaurants I've been to never use like dinner. Where at dinner they call them combination platters for the later meals. But C16, I always get sesame chicken. Very rarely will I ever get something other than that because that's my favorite. And then the other one was C11, honey chicken. 
Yeah, but like I said, everything was uh, fairly good here. If there's enough interest in these type of videos, I will do these videos, uh, review videos on Chinese restaurants as well. Normally, I, I only do it in restaurants that's more, um, I don't know, unique. A lot of Chinese restaurants are very much the same. I mean, same food, the same layout. I mean, just the basic same look to them. I mean, that's not being rude or anything to us, and that's just the truth. So if there's interest enough in these, I'll start doing these whenever I go to them. But this is the first Chinese restaurant I've been to in quite a long time. I try not to eat this as much as I used to. But okay, just wanted to film it and show the uh, menu.